name's Liz Pichon and I write and draw all the Tom Gates books and in February this year um, it'll be Tom's 10th anniversary. So I've been writing and drawing the books for 10 years and to celebrate that uh, we've got a new book coming out in February called Tom Gates, oh, I can't even say it, you think I'd know it by now, <laughs> called Tom Gates 10 Tremendous Tales and I'm going to be reading to you a little bit of every single one of the Tom Gates books that I've written and drawn over the last 10 years, starting with this one which is The Brilliant World of Tom Gates. And this is a very early copy that I've got. And you can see it says, winner of the Roald Dahl Funny Prize, 2011. Um, so yeah, it's a different style book that's out now. So this is one of the very first copies. So I thought I'd start right at the beginning. Um, and I'm gonna show you a few things of the original drawings as well. But right now, let's read from the very start of the book. Here we go. So this is when Tom, is just, you know, I'm just kind of introducing him as a character and telling you a little bit about his life and what he, get, what he gets up to. Oh, here we go. Even though I only live four minutes away from my school, I'm often late. This is usually because me and Derek, my best mate and next door neighbour, chat a bit, okay, a lot on the way. Sometimes it's because we get distracted by delicious fruit chews and caramel wafers at the shop. Occasionally, it's because I've had loads of other very important things to do. For instance, this is what I did this morning, my first day back at school. Woke up, listened to music, played my guitar, rolled out of bed slowly, looked for socks, looked for clothes, played some more guitar, realised I hadn't done my holiday reading homework, <gasps> panicked, thought of a good excuse for lack of homework. Phew! Annoyed my sister Delia, which I admit did take up a large chunk of the morning, time well spent though, hid Delia's sunglasses, took my comic into the bathroom to read while Delia waited outside, ha ha, when mum shouts, Tom, you're late for school, run past Delia, who's still waiting outside the bathroom and quite cross now, ignore her sisterly love, creep, save precious time by not brushing hair, not brushing teeth for very long, not kissing mum goodbye, too old for that kind of thing, eat the last piece of toast, then grab my packed lunch and my bike and shout bye to anyone who can hear me. Then I bike to school in about two minutes flat, which is a new Tom Gates world record. And this is the really good bit. Amy Porter has just arrived too. I'm so pleased to see her after the holidays. I smile in what I think is a nice, friendly, cheery way. Amy is not impressed. She looks at me like I'm weird. I'm not. Hi, Amy. This is a bad start to the day. And then it gets worse. Mr. Fullerman, my form teacher, makes the whole class stand outside our room. And he says, welcome back, class 5F. I've got a big surprise for you all. I don't know. Does he talk like that? Yeah, <laughs> Which is not good news. Oh no, he's rearranged all the desks and now I'm sitting right at the front of the class. Worse still, Marcus Moni Meldrew is next to me. This is a disaster. How am I going to draw my pictures and read my comics? Sitting next to the, sitting at the back of the class, I could avoid the teacher's glares. I am so close to Mr. Fullerman now, I can see up his nose. Here we go. That's Tom. <laughs> I drew a little picture of his nose there. <laughs> so that's before he was at the back of the class nicely, you know, and now <gasps> he's at the front. Tom Gates, I can see you. And if that's not bad enough, Marcus Meldrew is the most annoying boy in the whole school. He is so nosy, he thinks he knows everything. Marcus Meldrew is already annoying me. He's looking over my shoulder while I'm writing this. He's still looking. Still looking. Yes, Marcus, I'm writing about you. Marcus Meldrew has a face like a mouse. Marcus Meldrew has a face like a moose. Moosey Marcus. He stopped looking now. But on the other side of me, the good news is that I am now sitting next to Amy Porter, who is very smart and nice, 
even though she didn't seem thrilled to see me this morning. Brilliant! At least I can have a sneaky look over her shoulder for a few right answers. I think she's looking at me now. Amy Porter is very nice. Amy Porter is smart. She's not looking. She's ignoring me, I think. So I might as well stop writing nice things now and draw a doodle instead. This cheers me up. Marcus gets squished by a big monster. There we go. <laughs> so when I was writing this, I was kind of imagining that Tom was actually writing in his own exercise book. Um, and so that's how I imagined that Tom was, you know, when he, as he was writing, that Marcus was peering over his shoulder and having a look. And when I say I was writing in an exercise book, I actually really did write in an exercise book. So when I was coming up with the idea for Tom, this is what I imagined that he was doing, writing in his exercise book. There you go. Those are the first pages. And I hand wrote it all out. Um, some of the things, there we are, Marcus Meldrew. Yes, Marcus, I'm writing about you. Marcus Meldrew has a face like a moose. <laughs> Moosey Marcus. And that was my original kind of little drawing there. Amy Porter is very nice. Amy Porter is very smart. So a lot of the things that I wrote in the original book, um, in this one, my ideas book, actually ended up being in the real book. Um, there we go. And that was Tom, I imagine, his doing his drawings and doodles. And you can see it says here, zombie dogs. Uh, I had to change it to dog zombies because there is actually a band called zombie dogs. Can't have that. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, hope you're going to enjoy the brand new book.